So one more little extra tidbit about the Council of Nicaea in 325. You see, uh, my man Jimmy, Jim Terry, he was commenting on someone else's, so he's not asking a question, but I wanted to expound on what he just said. He said, yes, St. Nikolai, uh, a Moor of, Ale in, of Alexandria, was there. In fact, he got into a fist fight with a guy over doctrine. Okay, so here's a little known story in Christendom. So during the Council of Nicaea, Constantine is of course presiding over this and it's illegal for a bishop to, for someone to strike another person in front of Constantine. So Arius is going hard on his doctrine saying that Jesus and God are not one and the same, that Jesus is a substance different from God, that they're not to be worshiped as one, but separate. And both aren't to be worshiped at all. Only one is to be worshiped and that's the father. So, uh, St. Nicholas, he gets pissed. He's over there, he's agitated, Arr! and he gets up, he walks across the room. Now in some stories, they've made it light. He just slaps Arius, you know, like Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. But in other stories, in the older stories, he punches the shit out of Arius, which is why Arius says, I signed this with a heavy hand. He punches the shit out of Arius, and then, but the bishops are appalled and he's just committed a crime. So they strip him of his bishop robes, they send him into jail, but oh no, as the church writers begin to rewrite and write this story, there's one version where while he's sitting in jail and he's feeling so sorrowful, Jesus and Mary appear to him. And why are you so sad, Nicholas? Because I love you so much, I became so agitated. And they said they give him the gospel, the book of the gospels is what they supposedly gave him. And he studies the book of the Gospels, and then his bishop robes miraculously come upon him, and the chains come off. And then when the guard finds him the next day, um, he tells Constantine what's happened. And Constantine is so, like, all the bishops are like, oh, well, this must be the right doctrine for us to follow, because this guy. Another version of the story is that Constantine had a dream that Mary and Jesus came, and they gave... Um, this guy, St. Nicholas, the, and this ain't the St. Nicholas of the Christmas thing, even though he's from Turkey, but gave St. Nicholas the whole deal. It might be a thing, I don't know. The whole deal with the, uh, the book and all this kind of stuff. But these kind of stories is what they told people. This is how they created their saints. And the question that I have for you is why aren't these stories happening anymore? Why isn't Jesus and Mary just appearing to people and is validated? None of these things can be validated because they're all written decades if not hundreds of years later but just an interesting tidbit for those who like the historical parts of all this religious stuff